it's important for me to have a good season in 2018. I'm going to do everything I can to do that, do the best that I can for our football team. That's my job, and that's my responsibility. That's what I'm going to try to do. Hopefully you can respect that, but maybe not. Now, look, Bill is one of the greatest coaches of all time. And the fact that Bill found 11 wins in Matt Castle makes me feel like whoever the quarterback is after Tom Brady, if Bill wants to stick around, they'll still win the AFC East or they'll still win 10 games and go to the playoffs. They just won't be Super Bowl winners. I think what ends up happening is Bill gets you to the playoffs and then you need a guy like Tom Brady to elevate that team against the best competition to win a Super Bowl. To me, Bill could take almost any team in this league and win the division. I think he'll find 9, 10, 11 wins with just about any roster. But you put him then in the playoffs against elite competition, and he needs Tom Brady to push the roster and the team, the performance of the next level. But look, Bill is one of the greats. But this tact... To me, it makes him come off as a curmudgeon. You wonder why he could be so petty, why he could be so immature or petulant. You wonder how hard it is to deal with him. You wonder how hard it must be to play for him. But it's the best tact. Benching Malcolm Butler in the Super Bowl still doesn't have an explanation. And that's the best cornerback on their team as they get sliced and diced by a backup QB. If it didn't lead directly to lose the Super Bowl, it was a huge part of it. And Bill will never have to answer why. We don't know why. I guess Malcolm Butler might have practiced poorly. Maybe they were upset with Malcolm Butler's attitude. Maybe it simply was a matchup issue. Maybe it was about his contract. Maybe it was about his upcoming free agency. Who knows? We'll never know because Bill won't. Answer the question.